up y'all it's your girl b octavia and i am back with another video welcome to my channel if you are new my name is b octavia i'm 23 years old and i'm from washington dc today's video will be about the recent murders that happened in the city first of all it's two separate things that i wanted to cover within this video right and I have a couple more things that I want to talk about of things that I've seen that's going on in the city that will be coming out this week. So make sure that you are subscribed. Make sure that you turn on the post notifications and check out my business, okay? I have skincare and I have cosmetics, lip gloss, and face hydration products and so much more coming out very soon. So make sure that you stay tuned on that that crush on you .com. so i wanted to speak on first there was a shooting that happened in southeast and within this shooting five people were injured by bullets seven in total but two of those people were unfortunately killed now there was a video that came out of seconds before the shooting happened the scenery really threw me off the scenery really rubbed me the wrong way. There is a lot of people within or on this one street. It's like a block party or something. You know what I mean? But this is what I wanted to say on it when I first seen it. Everybody acting like it's not quarantine no more. That's the one thing that rubbed me the wrong way. Everybody acting like it's not quarantine. Everybody acting like you supposed to be this close to people. It was too many people. You know what I'm saying? Coronavirus is very real. And just because we young don't mean that we can't catch it. Funny Mike just got it. Funny Mike what? 23, 24? Okay then. You know what I mean? We're not exempt from getting sick, especially if we partying, we smoking, we drinking, and we around each other. We are, you know, increasing the risk, okay? That's the first thing. The second thing was, it just bugs me that people in D.C., especially that are my age, they just don't really understand the dangers and, and the possibilities of what can happen. That's what really bothers me. I followed this page called Murder Mayhem, and that's where I seen this. But on a day-to-day -day basis, they update their community, their audience on, you know, crimes that are happening in D.C. Somebody asked me, was it depressing to follow a page like that? And it's like, no. It really does give you a real perspective and point of view of what's really going on. Like, you need to know that. I, I appreciate the page. It's really the only page that's like that. But anyways, so two people who were 19 years old, who are 19 years old, were unfortunately killed. And after they were killed, people had, of course, their things to say on it. And a lot of people were saying that young women shouldn't be outside, you know, just hanging around, whatever the case is. My opinion on that is nobody should be outside just hanging around, even if it's not quarantine. Honestly, we grew up, like if you're from D.C., we always grew up seeing the older people just standing around, not making no money. Sure, they might be having fun with each other, drinking and partying, but you can't do that every day. And even to do that once a week, what are we doing this for? It just comes a time when you have to realize, first of all, you getting in your best outfit. You feel what I'm saying? You getting in your best little outfit. You know, you got your makeup done. You got your hair done. Just to stand in front of these niggas who is either too scared to talk to you or they not scared to talk to you, but they not going to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? I see that a lot with young women, and it's not going to get you nowhere, but chasing the same nigga for years and years, getting pregnant by him, you know what I mean? Because honestly, we got to realize, we are like, the statistics and the stereotypes that people have on young women and black women and black men in today's time, we making that true by just standing around. 
I have stood around and, you know, um, and socialized with motherfuckers, but that was when I was younger. You know, that was when I didn't have nothing to do. I didn't have nothing on my mind to actually put my mind to. You know, I, I, did, I wasn't being productive. And when you younger, that's more acceptable. But if you, if even if you're 18, like, once you're 18, it's time to leave the hood activities alone. Once you, because you grown at that point. You know, once you're 18, you don't, you don't have to go to school anymore. Truancy won't mess with you. Once you're 18, you can get kicked out of your house. You know what I'm saying? Once you're 18, a lot of things can happen. You can get charged as an adult. Shit, you can get charged as an adult before that. But once you're 18, it's time to leave that shit alone. And in no way, shape, or form am I blaming the victims for being out there and for getting shot. You know, nobody has the right to just shoot into a crowd. Nobody has the right to just end somebody's life just because they're standing out there. Nobody has the right to do that. But we got to realize, you know, we going to other people's hoods and shit and standing around. And yeah, you might know people, but you don't know what they got going on in this hood. You don't know what type of enemies they got from the next street over. You just don't know. And that's always been a thing in my mind. You know, I don't like going to other people's hoods because I know that something can happen to me in my own hood. That's just the reality of it. So, should young women be outside? Fuck no. Should young men be outside minus the coronavirus? No. I don't think so. Because it's nothing to do. If you're not doing something, if you're not making money out there, it's no point. It's no point in risking your life. The drug dealers, they can go ahead, you know, make your money and take that risk. But if you're not making no money out here in the streets, you can drink and smoke at home. You can, you can, you can do that and be safe. You know, that's the bottom line to it. Young women who do that, who just stand outside, are getting defensive about it. You wrong. You shouldn't be outside. And people telling you that should make you get defensive. You should really think about it. That can happen to you. And a lot of people who are victims of gun violence, they really don't be learning much. It's more to it than saying a rest in peace. It's more to it than that. I want to say rest in peace to the victims. And I hope that people in my generation really learn something from it. Because we desperately need to or all of us are going to be extinct. So, within this same weekend, there was another shooting that happened, and I believe it was Congress Park. And Congress Park is in Southeast. So, there was a shooting that happened, and a Tennessee man was shot and killed. Now, in this same scenario, another man was shot, and he had life-threatening injuries, but I believe that he lived through the ordeal. I've been wanting to speak on this because, you know, it's a really sad situation. The person who got killed was a rapper out of Tennessee, out of Memphis. And I did listen to some of his music. And it just made me even more sad. You know what I'm saying? It made me even more shameful for how DC is. Because this man, this young man was 21 years old. And very talented. Nobody should lose their lives coming to D.C. for a couple days, you know, doing whatever. Now, there was talks that this young man was gambling in Congress Park or whatever the case was. With out-of-towners, I feel like, you know, even if you've been here once or twice or you know somebody from here, you really have to know about the areas. Fuck knowing somebody from D.C., you know, if that person can't protect you. And a lot of times, you know, we good on fake love. 
we we real good like dc is real good on on setting somebody up so if you don't know that then your demise will happen very quickly and that's why I say it don't matter who you know, because they can turn on you in an instant because they don't have what you have. My thing is this. I went on this Instagram and I seen, you know, the typical things of flashing money and cars and all of this. And that can very well have led to somebody from D.C. wanting to knock him off. Could have been a walk-up situation like he gambling or he doing whatever and somebody walk up and it's not off of Instagram. And I say that because of his attire. D.C. is a place where we can know a lot about you based on your attire. And it doesn't have really anything to do with jewelry. It's just how you put yourself together. And niggas don't like that. You know, niggas really don't like that. And especially if they know you from another place, they really would feel like you coming down here to get opportunities or to shit on them. And it might be for opportunities, but it's definitely not to shit on you. You know, having a lot of things like, like he had, niggas would be satisfied with just taking your life. So overall, you know, I feel like it's not a good time for out-of-towners to come here. It's really never a good time, especially if you want to come down here and be in the streets. Southeast in general just really ain't no safe place to be, especially if you don't know everybody. And even you can get got if you know everybody. I was talking to one of my subscribers about retaliation. And honestly... I think that it could happen, you know, as far as people that support and love this rapper coming down here and, you know, really making it a war. Now, that's a really dangerous thing to think about because we are nothing like Memphis, Tennessee. They got legal guns, and even if it's not legal, they got more than us just because of where, where you know, Memphis, Tennessee. I really think that it could get treacherous. You think about it. Like, they got fields and all this open space to learn how to shoot. We ain't got no fields and no open space like that to to pop no guns off and the police won't be there and all this, you know? So, it could get really treacherous for D.C. And as far as, like, a retaliation goes, I will pray that that won't happen I will pray for peace, as I always have, and I send my condolences to all of the families and to all of the people that lost their lives in these past weekends, you know, please be safe, be careful, stay in the house, you know what I'm saying, just, just, just stay to yourself. Right now is a time to really stay to yourself and be in deep thought about how you want your life to go. Let your girl be Octavia. Drop some, some prayer signs and, and your, your thoughts and your opinions in the comments below. And I will see y'all in my next video.